Firefighters in Lackawanna County got a first-hand look tonight at a new firefighting robot. That's right, firefighters gathered in music to see what the machine can do. Newswatch 16's Jack Culkin also took a look. You expect to find firefighters at a fire department, but what you may not expect to find is a firefighting robot, like this one on display at the Greenwood Fire Department in Music. It's called the SuperVac TAF-35 Mobile Firefighting Robot. It's remote controlled and can pour 1,200 gallons of water a minute on a fire. The video surveillance that it has on it also has thermal imaging, so it could help in a, you know, looking for occupants in the building or finding the hotspots of the fire. Right here in Music, we are looking at they're starting a um, over, over a million square foot warehouse, so that's a lot of ground to cover. Sending an unmanned unit in in the event of potential collapse hazards, it allows you to get into the deep seat of the fire without endangering one of your firefighters' lives. A salesman for the company offered to demonstrate the mobile firefighting robot in Music, and the chief at Greenwood invited firefighters from other departments in the area to see how it works. There's 51 of them in the world currently. Um, this is the first one that's across the pond into the U.S. They saw how it can move across a grassy area and shoot a stream of water from some 75 yards away. A machine like this may look difficult to drive at first, but just give it a couple of minutes and even a news reporter can learn how to operate it. Even kids had a go at working the controls. The mobile firefighting robot costs around $400,000. We all want to go home. That's the end of the day. Everybody wants to go home safely. So, yeah, it's worth the price. A lot of fundraising if we want something like this. While the price tag for the mobile firefighting robot may be out of range for an individual fire company such as Greenwood, officials say getting one of the robots could be possible if several fire departments join together. Jack Culkin, Newswatch 16, Lackawanna County.